Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. So today I want to show you these two enclosures, optional enclosures for the Flash Forge 85X that you could print if you are so inclined. And these are just drastically different from the standard enclosure kit that Flash Forge has put out and the parts that you need to print in order to put that together. So check this out. Over on their wiki page, you see they got the enclosure here. There's also some instructions for an LED module and an 85X dry box, which there's no information that they have on the wiki page right now, but they do have a YouTube video. So if you go to their official YouTube channel, they actually show what you have to do in order to um, make this dry box work. I'm assuming they're going to also have some 3D printable files for that, but that will just make it so that you can monitor the humidity levels of your filament while it's connected to the IFS without having to use a dryer box. So that's interesting. But what we want to see are these enclosure options here. Now, first of all, if you want to do it yourself, they do have access to this file here that is an open source frame step file for the 85X. So if you are a modeler and you want to make your own enclosure for this and you want to share it with the community, you can do that and you'll be able to get like all the appropriate measurements and all that good stuff with the uh, step file here. But what we want to see are these two designs. And I saw this maybe about a week or two ago, but the files were corrupted, but now they're okay. So here's the first one. It is the 85X Volcanic Stone Crack Enclosure. So this is just drastically different than the standard enclosure because you are actually printing the frame pieces for the side as well as on the front. I mean, the entire thing, you're going to be printing the pieces to enclose the printer with. And then the second one here is inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So this one looks like it takes the enclosure pieces, the standard enclosure pieces that you would have, but it just adds these adornments to it, like this mushroom here and this little bunny rabbit here as well. So let's take a look at what these files look like inside of a slicer. So this is that volcanic enclosure. And you take a look here at all these different pieces that you will have to make. Now, listen, if you want to print this, you need to prepare to use a ton of filament. This is going to be extremely wasteful. If you want to print this, they are multicolored pieces. You can see how tall these uh, these prime towers are here. And just to just see, um, let's take like one of these pieces here and just slice it and see what it's going to take up as far as filament goes. I've already sliced this one previously is going to do 838 filament changes. It's going to take over a day to print and it is going to use, and for this one piece, 323 grams of filament. Now, remember, I'm in Orca Flash Forge and it doesn't show you what the waste is going to be, but you can be sure that it's going to be a ton ton of waste at three eight hundred and thirty eight different filament changes and it's going to be like that for pretty much everything here's a piece here that's going to take uh three different colors with orange and red and uh that sort of gray and there it is again 831 filament changes 411 grams of filament almost a half a spool of filament so uh, yeah, this is just something that you are going to have to be prepared to deal with. This is not going to be something that you do when you just want it to be functional. This is for people who are like, yo, I just really want to have this. I don't care how much filament I have to use in order to get it. I just want this for myself. Spoiling yourself. Darn the waste. Who cares? And here we go again. 349 grams of filament. 726 filament changes. So yeah, it is going to take a lot, but um, take a look at the different filaments here because this was based off of the 3MF file that Flash Forge provided. So this, these are not filament choices that I made. So for these gray bits here, they have assigned Flash Forge PLA carbon fiber. 
And then for the orange part, some basic Flash Forge PLA. And then for the red part, some basic Flash Forge PLA. Um, so interesting that they didn't decide to use like PETG for these side panels. They decided to use PLA uh, carbon fiber. And if you look up real quick about the temperature resistances for PLAs in Google, it'll quickly tell you that PLA carbon fiber can have worse temperature resistance compared to regular PLA. That kind of thing, I guess, can vary um, depending on the manufacturer of the filament because, you know, everything doesn't have to be the same across all different filament types. But um, I do think that is interesting that they decided to go for that. But just for my peace of mind, if I were to do this, I would definitely want to make these panels um, out of something like PETG just so I can be sure that they have better heat resistance. Now let's take a look at this Alice inspired enclosure here. So still got a whole bunch of plates, but you see that they have the standard enclosure pieces right here in the back and they just colored them differently. Um, again, the filament choices from the 3MF files are very, um, well, interesting how they have PLA silk. Okay, those are for the decorative pieces. But then for these pieces here that's going to be going around the frame, they just have it set to Flash Forge PLA Basic. Um, so again, I would recommend something that has a higher temperature resistance for that because you are going to be enclosing it just to be on the safe side to just do it with PETG or uh, something else. If you have another printer, another enclosure, maybe you can go with ABS or ASA, but these are like the standard um, pieces here. And then here are the adornments. I think this is kind of cool here. It's got this little playing card and it's got the little teacup on it. Let's slice that real quick to see how that is going to uh, see what that's going to cost us. So this is going to take not even a lot of filament, 44 grams of filament, 29 filament changes. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then we look at some of the larger pieces like this bunny rabbit here. This bunny rabbit is going to take 12 hours to print, but look at that, 314 filament changes and the total amount of filament, 134 grams. Um, and these are just some of the other decorative pieces. So you're still kind of, you know, just getting the main enclosure, but these are just things that's going to be going all around it. I think I would prefer this type of enclosure if you wanted to get, you know, really creative from this perspective, simply because uh, the adornment pieces are not taking up a crazy amount of filament, you know, and you still get to customize it the way that you want, which is why I hope that people take the step files from this and then just make a really cool themed enclosure that anybody will be able to do. And it doesn't require you to take out a second mortgage to afford the filament in order to put everything together. But it is very nice to see that Flash Forge has put out these optional customizable enclosures. They also did one for the original Adventure 5M. Besides the standard one, it was like this cubed boxy kind of one that wasn't fully enclosed. I've never seen anyone actually print that and show it off. And it's probably because it took a lot more filament to make that than the standard enclosure. And then it wouldn't even be fully enclosed after you did it. But uh, we had two here and hopefully the very, very smart community will come up with more. So that is going to be it for now. Flash Forge has any other news coming up that um, turns out to be particularly interesting. You can be sure that I'm going to tell you about it here. So go ahead and subscribe if you found this useful, if you want to just be able to keep up on future news about this printer and uh, new printers that they have coming out in the future. So until the next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.